What if the Tampa Bay Lightning drafted right from 1992 to 2003? From 1992 to 2001, the Tampa Bay Lightning were a joke of a franchise. Part of the reason why they were a joke was because they were an expansion franchise, but another reason was because they drafted poorly early on. In this episode, I will go back and fix the draft mistakes made by the Tampa Bay Lightning. In 1992, the Tampa Bay Lightning will still select Roman Hammerlick in the first round. At pick 26, they should have selected Sergey Breland over Drew Bannister. With pick 49, they should have selected Adrian O'Coin over Brent Gretzky. In 1993, instead of selecting Chris Grant third overall, they should have selected Paul Correa. At pick 29, they should have selected Vinny Crossbow over Tyler Moss. With pick 55, they should have selected Timo Timonen over Alan English. With pick 81, they should have selected Manny Legacy over Marion Casey. In 1994, instead of selecting Jason Weaver eighth overall, they should have selected Chris Drury. At pick 34, they should have selected Daniel Alfredson over Colin Cucci. With pick 137, they should have selected Evgeny Novakov over Dan Judy. With pick 138, they should have selected Steve Sullivan over Bryce Salvador. In 1995, the Lightning still select David Lankow in the first round. At pick 30, they should have selected Sammy Kapanen over Mike Dubé. Instead, they selected Mario Larocque 16th overall, they should have selected Marco Stern. At pick 69, they should have selected Mark Parrish over Curtis Chipero. In 1997, they should have selected Paul Mara 7th overall, they should have selected Sergei Samsonov. At pick 33, they should have selected Mike York over Kyle Collins. In 1998, the Tampa Bay Lightning still selected Vincent McCabe and Brad Richards. In 1999, Instead of selecting Sheldon Keefe 47th overall, they should have selected Craig Anderson. At pick 67, they should have selected Mike Conry over Evgeny Kostantinov. In 2000, instead of selecting Nikita Alexiev 8th overall, they should have selected Brooks Orban. In 2001, instead of selecting Alexander Spitthoff 3rd overall, they should have selected Alex Hepsi. At pick 48, they should have selected Mike Camilleri over Thomas Coleman. In the 2002 draft, the Tampa Bay Lightning did not have many picks to work with, so it's not really worth the redraft. In 2003, instead of selecting Max Mabby 41st overall, they should have selected Shea Weber. The Tampa Bay Lightning still end up drafting Roman Hammerlick, Damon Lankow, Brad Richards, and Vincent LeCavier. Some trades will need to be made to balance out the lineup. Roman Hammerlick, Damon Lankow, and a second round pick in 2003, Kevin Klein to the Florida Panthers for Jay Bowmeister, and a fifth round pick in 2003, Dustin Buff. Adrian O'Coin, Sergey Breland, and a third round pick in 2003, Jonathan Bluton to the San Jose Sharks for Christian Earhart. Manny Legacy to the Chicago Blackhawks for Michael Layton, and a second round pick in 2003, David back at Sammy Kapanen and Mark Parrish to the Vancouver Canucks for Matthias Olin and a third round pick in 2004, Alex Edler. Mike York, Sergei Samsonov in a first round pick in 2004, Dave Bolin to the Washington Capitals for Yarmir Yager, Marcus Sturm and Mike Comrie to the Minnesota Wild for Pierre-Marc Bouchard, Pascal Dupuis and a third round pick in 2004, Alexi Yemel. Second round pick in 2003, Dan Fritchie to the New York Islanders for Dave Scatcher. Steve Sullivan to the Buffalo Sabres for Brian Campbell and a second round pick in 2004, Brandon Dubinsky. This is how the lineup looks like at the beginning of the 2003-2004 season. First line, Paul Correa, Vincent LeCavier and Yarmir Yager. Second line, Vinny Crossbow, Brad Richards. Daniel Alves. Third line, Mike Camilleri, Chris Drury, Alex Schmitz. Fourth line, Pascal Dupuy, Dave Scatcher, Pierre Marc Bouchard. First D pair, Jay Bowmeister, Brian Campbell. Second D pair, Matthias Olin, Timo Timonen. Third D pair, Brooks Orpik, Christian Erhoff. Goalies are Denny Nabokov and Michael Lee. There are very good prospects in the system too, like Shea Weber, Dustin Bufflin, David Backus, Brandon Dubinsky, and Craig Anderson. This team would be set to contend for the Stanley Cup for the next couple of years, but then would run into salary cap issues. Next, what if the Florida Panthers drafted right from 1993 to 2005?